home, darling. No, what are we doing? <laughs> Waiting table at the <laughs> diner? Saving our tips for buck of beer night? <laughs> Counting the days till my ass starts looking like my mother's. Not that bad yet. Long weekend coming up. Go to the beach. It all just seems so... What's the point? I mean, is this all we're ever gonna be? <laughs> Come on, we'll get you home. I feel so much better in the morning. I mean, what is this all about? We're just fooling ourselves. A day goes by, a month, a year, and nothing changes. Nicole, baby, please get off the road. I mean, we're all just like bugs on the windshield. One second you're flying along and then splat. It's all over. <laughs> Chloe, you're drunk. Get off the road. <gasps> I'm sorry. On the seventh dawn of the seventh day, a twice-blessed man will roam the fields, doomed to shadows with his brethren, or savior to all who walk the ground. In 1564, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 4, Century 9. She will rise from the dead with words of fortune on her lips. For one in need of purpose, a dispatch to the twice-blessed man. The local newspapers say paramedics revived a waitress in Cranston, Rhode Island after six minutes with no heartbeat. She woke up speaking words of fortune. Only the words belonged to Nostradamus. I know Chloe Wells is reciting the lost quatrains of Nostradamus. The aliens must know it too. I have to find her before they do. Move it. Excuse me? Move away from the gate. Uh, look, nobody owns a sidewalk. It's public property. First Amendment privilege gives me the right to place this camera anywhere on public property, providing there is no safety hazard. Thanks for the civics lesson. Hey, you're welcome. Now, if there's nothing else? Uh, one thing. 
If you step inside the gate, I'm going to charge you with trespassing and confiscate your camera and anything else you've got. We can do this from the street. Right, start with the house and pan to me in a close-up. Not long ago, people walked right past this house, the home of an ordinary waitress from an ordinary town. But over the last three days, many locals have built a shrine here, hoping to discover their destiny. It all began when Chloe Welch was struck by a car. Dead for six minutes, she miraculously revived. Rushed to a local hospital, she spoke these strange words to doctors. The old lion shall lose his heart near the sea in a gilded chariot. Two wounds from one, he shall die a cruel death, and the young lion shall carry off the prize. Chloe Wells' prophecy was fulfilled when Cranston's old lion, Mayor Wes Martin, suffered a heart attack in his gold Cadillac. The vehicle plunged over an embankment where Martin died of head injuries, two wounds from one. The mayor's son, the young lion, took over as mayor, completing Chloe Wells' stunning prophecy. I don't remember that car train, do you? That news camera was pointed right at my face, Eddie. I only saw you for a couple of seconds. It's no excuse. I know better, damn it. You know, one thing is clear. If you want to talk to the girl, we got to find a way to get her out of the house. Well, if she's not coming out, I'm going in. <laughs> house is surrounded, dude. So unless you want to have a near-death experience of your own... I'm sick of this, Eddie. I'm sick of running, sick of getting nowhere. We're not getting nowhere. We had 147 posts on the website last week. 147 people? That's not a resistance. That's a bunch of people having a good time on the internet. This girl knows something. The house is surrounded by television cameras. We hit our Nostradamus book so the Gua couldn't find it. That book's the only insurance policy we've got. They find out she's sprouting prophecies, they'll come and get her. Her life's at stake. So is yours. What do you think's going on here? Look, I've been over every quatrain in that book. And what she says isn't there. I think it's a trap, Foster. It's just my gut, but I don't think so. Look, I just say that we, we move on. We check out another quatrain. We can always come back when the hula dies down. I need some answers. Foster, wake up. The house is surrounded. To try to go inside is insane. You're right. You're right. It's crazy. Thank you. But I got a feeling I can't ignore. I got to get inside. I got to speak to Chloe Wells. No, I'm not going to go in there. Too much risk. I'm not going to help you, Foster. Disturbing the peace charge in a holding cell unless you get off this property. Anyway, I'll call you in a little bit, okay? I know, I will. Okay, bye. And the psycho fans go wild. Oh, this is so cool, you're a star. All I did was spew mumbo jumbo during a seizure. Chloe, you had a near death experience. I mean, that's when you're closest to the spirit world. Maybe you're channeling some troubled soul. The question is how to turn that into hard cash. Like, did feel something different inside? There you go. It's the sense that this happened, you know, for a reason. You did. For the finest reason, the greenest reason. Let's visualize. Come on, close your eyes. Smell the money. Please. I'm not talking about money. No. Chloe, why do you think they call it fortune telling? It's all about the money. Relax. It'll come to you. You move for pizza? No, I'm totally lactose intolerant. Uh, how about Chinese? Uh-uh. MSG might destroy your psychic link to the other side. Get over it, Denise. Look, here's a child boiled chicken place. I'm calling. Chico's chicken? Yeah, hello, do you deliver? Yeah, we sure do. Great, I'd like to place an order. Okay, hang on, let me get your address. Yeah. Okay, here's a chance. They call for takeout. Chico's chicken. I'm on it. How you gonna get there? I got the caddy. 
Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Hello, Chico's Chicken. Yeah, Chico's? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my girlfriend just called in an order. Her name Chloe? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, don't worry about delivery. I'm going to come by and pick it up. You got it. Thanks. You must be Joshua. My name is Graydon, and you're late. You have something to show me? Global monitoring picked this up off a satellite feed. Dead for six minutes, she miraculously revived. Rushed to a local hospital, she spoke these strange words to doctors. The old lion shall lose his heart near the sea in a gilded chariot. Two wounds for life. Those his words? The prophet? Maybe. Definitely worth checking out. Any opportunity to obtain or interpret the Book of Prophecies is of paramount importance. I understand certain humans have used them to track our operations. Thank you for coming, Joshua. Why would you do that? Do what? Thank me for coming. It's my understanding you resisted my arrival here, agreeing only once Council ordered it. I like action, not bureaucracy. I knew it was Nostradamus. Waiting for your approval for the mission was a waste of time. Agreed. So let's waste no more time. As soon as you brief me on your plans, we can move out. I've already assembled a team. Perfect. Now that team has an experienced leader. What? I organized the team. From this point forward, there'll be no more objections. Only compliance. Come on, Chloe. Mind if I take a look in the bag? Sure, go ahead. It's a real circus out here. Tell me about it. So what's the password? Excuse me? Well, the girl said you were coming. Said they gave you the password. You have strict orders. No one enters without the password. There is no password. Aha, <laughs> just fooling with you. <laughs> Go on ahead. Yeah, what about us? What's going on? Boo! <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, bye. Chloe, food's here. Ah, oh. order chicken marah every night. Why don't you come in and make yourself at home? Chloe. Blessed man. <laughs> Chloe, like, what are you doing? You're him, aren't you? <laughs> the one from the prophecy. What makes you think that? I don't know. It's just that sometimes, well, over the last few days, these words and images jump into my head. I don't even know what that means. Twice blessed man. Someone once called me that. Do you know who I'm talking about? I feel like I should. Okay, look, chicken boy, I don't know who the hell you're talking about, and I don't care, so why don't you just tell me how much the bird parts cost so you can vacate? Excuse me, I need to speak to Chloe. Who the hell are you? I need to talk to you. Chloe! Um, this guy wants peace this, and I say forget it. Stop it, Denise. Something is happening to me, and he's part of it. Chloe, this is our deal, you and me. 
This guy's just trying to scam you. No, I'm not. You know I'm not. I'm sorry, Denise, but this is happening to me for a reason. I need to know what it is. <laughs> Interrupt the damn soaps. He doesn't know. We have to go live now. Because, well, look, WKPJ, we've already got somebody else on the scene. We can't hold out for footage of the girl. There's a cop here who's not letting anybody near the house. We have to do a live update before these guys. They're already on the move. They're going to be on in minutes, I can tell. When are we going in? When I tell you. The girl is in that house. It shouldn't be too hard. There are too many people there now. We'll wait for an opportunity. Not long ago, people walked right past this house, the home of an ordinary waitress from an ordinary town. But over the last three days, many locals have built a shrine here, hoping to discover their destiny. It all began when Chloe Wells was struck by a car. Stop the tape. Dead for six minutes. Rewind. And when Chloe Wells Freeze was it. struck... Is that him? That's him. That's Foster. Subject 117. I had a hunch he'd make an appearance for this. I don't know if I'm gonna get this job or not. Come on, everybody's running with John McClane. I'm wasting my time. Foster, get out of there. Why would I be in danger? There's a group of people who fear what you might have to say. I won't even know what I'm saying. I mean, it just comes out of me. I found a book over 400 years old, full of prophecies a lot like yours. They're called quatrains. For real? Who wrote it? A man named Michel de Notre Dame, better known as Nostradamus. He was a doctor in the 1500s with a gift of prophecy. Nostradamus? What tablet do you work for? After I was hit by that car, there was this bright light blinding me and somebody was there, you know, inside my head. And I knew he wanted me to say those words. Chloe, I think that was him. Nostradamus. Easy, buddy. You're saying that this Nos Nostradamus is talking through me? Maybe your near-death experience opened up a channel. My guess is he gave you prophecies to deliver his message. Yeah, right. Seriously, though. Um, Pat, I'd like to buy a vowel. How about an O? <laughs> There's two of them. Let me guess the word. Looney. Look, let's say this is true. Why me? I don't know. It's a question I ask myself all the time. All right, Chloe, enough's enough. I mean, this guy's either an escaped mental patient or he's working an angle. Now, if you've got this all figured out, then what's the message? That's what I came here to find out. Delivery guy still with you? Yeah, chicken boy's still here. Everything okay? Please, I won't forgive you. Yeah, everything's fine, Nate. He's entertaining us with some very amusing stories. Okay, just checking up. Hold on, Denise. How long is this gonna go on? I've been out here all day. It's my only day off this week. I wanna see you. Get your ass back out there. Having a cop around keeps people interested. This Nostradamus wants a message delivered. He hasn't told me about it. That's where I come in, I think. Oh, well. Tell us, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. With all due respect, will you please shut up? Nostradamus lived during the Black Plague. Millions died. Well, there's kind of a plague today, only it's worse. It's all around us and nobody knows it's here. What kind of a plague? We're being invaded from another planet. Oh, that's good. That's, that's great. You know, little green men? God, you, you couldn't do any better than that. Maybe cyborgs created in a secret underground laboratory? Maybe underneath the North Pole? God, Chloe, this freak is trying to take advantage of you. I'm not going to let him. Tell him to get the hell out of here. Or choose, because it's him or it's me. Denise! What?
okay? Slow down, honey. You okay? Believe she would do that to me. Do what? Choose that chicken boy, boy over me. Out. We'll be seeing Chloe. As she Look, not stop. the real chicken boy. Not the real chicken boy. Miss Young, can you elaborate on that? Back off. Over here. Get a shot of her through the window. You're gonna have to angle it down this way. We won't see her that way. What do you mean? Who is he? Oh, well, never told us his real name. Oh. Maybe you can find him. Request license plate ID. Rhode Island B Bravo. Four nine three four eight. My advanced team has strategically placed a set of modified micro cameras, parabolic listening devices, and in the rear, laser motion detectors. Okay. So where is he? Must have gotten inside. We'll have audio reception momentarily. Didn't have to come around. Can't really blame her. I mean, I don't even know why I'm listening to you. You were saying some pretty crazy stuff. You think I like talking about aliens everywhere I go? That's him. That's Kate Foster. Something tells me you're not lying. You know, I don't even know your name. Foster. Kate Foster. It's a nice name. do whatever I can. If you can connect to Nostradamus, I need you to do it for me. Well, I know that he's here. I, I just don't know how to connect to him. I think he's trying to contact me, Chloe. I need you to try. Two pathetic humans in that house. Let's end this now. All in good time, Greg. All in good time. Eddie. Foster, flee, run away, make a hasty retreat. Get out the back, Jack, I'm telling you. I can't do that, Eddie. You have to. There's aliens in the van. The best friends with the cop. I'm telling you, Foster, this is it. I told you to stay out of there. Why didn't you listen to me? She's connected. I don't know how, but he's here. Nostradamus is here. That doesn't matter. Get the hell out of there. I'm sorry, man. I gotta play this thing out. How long is this thing going to take? Denise, it takes time to run a trace. Where are we going tonight? You want me to think about that right now? Come on, honey. Relax. Miss Wells, Arthur View at TV9. If we could just have a moment of your time. Where are you going? I'm going to help you, Cade. What do you mean? They want me to talk to them. I will. I'll tell those people about Nostradamus and the aliens, too. Are you Chloe Wells? The world is close to its last days. It will rain blood, famine, war, and disease. Unless twice. Did you get that? Did you get all that? Okay, I want to send straight to the news desk and tell them we need an ID on that guy in there. I don't know what's going on around here, but I smell a big story. Are you sure? B Bravo 49348. Affirmative, that is a match. Okay, if you say so. The chicken guy's car is stolen. You were right, babe. Central. This is Barlow. I'm at 1120 North Road. Request backup. I felt him. He was here, Kate. Nostradamus? 
He was telling me something. It was about the end of the world. What was the last thing he said? I didn't hear it. He said it would rain blood, famine, and disease unless... unless a twice-blessed man had heed my words. Chloe's in that house with the crazy guy. I mean, he's like, he's psycho. What are you gonna, how are you gonna get her out safely? Hold on, Denise, don't have a meltdown. We still don't have any positive ID on the guy. I should never have left her. Hey, you did the right thing. Just stay clear of the house, okay? Don't go near it. We gotta be careful. What is it? That van. I don't think that's a real TV crew in there. Well, who do you think it is? I think the criminals may be armed. Yeah, armed criminals. It's time to move. Cade Foster must be kept alive until the Book of Prophecies is secure. With the girl, we might not even need the book. This is too important to wait. I say we storm the house, take Foster by force. And expose her operation to a worldwide viewing audience. Once we obtain the target, we transfer into new bodies. Graydon, you're a new rival on this planet, so I'll give you a tip. Use your wits here, not your weapons. You have been gone. That's how we'll succeed. You've been gone too long, Joshua. There are those at home who would not call your work successful. What's your purpose here? We're a reporting team. WKPJ. I'm never heard of WKPJ. Got any ID? Just taking precautions. Sorry to bother you. No problem. Now listen here, pal. You keep your nose out of mischief, you hear me? Hey, hey, grab your camera. I just got the scoop on the chicken guy in the house. I knew this was going to be big. They want me to go live. All right, you ready? And coming down in three, two, one. WHDY News has identified the man inside Chloe Wells' home as Cade Foster, a convicted murderer from Chicago. Police have yet to move in and apprehend the man, and we are awaiting further developments at this time. That's Denise. She said that they're after you. The police. That um, you wanted for murder. But you're innocent, aren't you? Is that Nostradamus talking or is that you? It's me. Chloe, you said you had felt him. His presence, can you feel him now? No. That last quatrain, when you said it, it, it was like you were in a trance. That's sort of the way it works. What happens right before the trance? Well, the first time this paramedic was checking my eyes with a light when this, like, warm feeling washed over my the body. The light in your eyes? Like the news camera? Yeah, I guess. And... The second prophecy was at the hospital, and there was an exam light on me there, too. Oh, 
Claudia, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear him. It's an honor to meet you. How much longer do we just sit here and wait? Until the streets are cleared. And then only when I say. I say you've lost it. I'm sure I didn't hear that correctly. You heard me. Some say it behind your back, I'll say it to your face. You've lost sight of our objective on this planet. You've lost sight of who we are. Is that what they say about me? It was your speech to the Council that prevented the launch of the second wave. We would rule this planet right now. The human race would be on its knees before us if not for one frightened soldier. You, Joshua. We are Gua. We conquer. We don't wait. Is that everything you have to say to me? Yes. Good. Then we'll wait until the streets are cleared. Then we'll move. Okay, Joshua. Whatever you say. The council will redeem me when I deliver Kate Foster. Mr. Dobbins. I have so many questions. There is no time. The plague is descending. Wait, I have to know. How do I defeat them? It all depends on you. But how? Just... Just tell me what to do. You have the key to unlock the door. The Book of Prophecies. Use them wisely and they will guide you. I've been doing that. But I don't think it's working. We've won some battles, but we're losing the war. How do I end this thing? You must be patient. I have been patient. Too patient. Each step is part of your growth. Every victory is a link in the chain of your journey. Every experience increases your knowledge of the enemy. When does it end? This is a journey. Your task is to take it one step at a time. You can see the future, damn it. Will we win? Will we win? It all depends on you. Why me? I'm just a regular guy. I was a thief. I'm nothing. I'm nobody. Why? You're the twice-blessed man. This is your fight. Only you can defeat them. I can't stop them alone. Survive the journey. One day you will come to the final test. If you're victorious, they will leave this earth. And if I'm not victorious? You'll be doomed to shadows with your brethren. To recap, WHDY has learned the man inside with Chloe Wells is Cade Foster, a hey, convicted murderer. Hey. What in the hell are you reporting? Listen, the news desk ID'd the guy inside that house as an escaped felon. He's Cade Foster, a convicted murderer wanted by the FBI. Care to respond? Yeah, I do. All right, folks, that's all for today. Everybody out of here. I want this street clear, and I mean now. Let's go. Move in, Blake. Go all day. Come on. But, Officer, we've been very compliant here. Listen, thanks for the tip. It's too dangerous around here, so get your ass in that van and get out of here. And you two, move that van out of here. Let's go, people. Come on. Let's go, ladies. I want you out of here now. Let's go this way. Keep moving. Let's go. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Let's go. Come on, lady. Keep moving. Keep going. Come back tomorrow. How does that sound, everybody? Come back tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Let's go, everybody.
off right there. Chloe, do you have a gun? My dad's old shotgun in the hall closet. right outside. How do we get out of this? Come on, come on. Please, Chloe. Come on. You must turn yourself over to the enemy. Let's get out of here. My gun down. Don't shoot. Raise your weapon. You know, warrior. You're nothing at all. I don't make it, you don't. Crazy! Mark Boston, we gotta go! Gunshots were fired today outside the home of Chloe Wells when unidentified gunmen helped a convicted criminal escape. 
Cade Foster, a Chicago man wanted for the murder of his wife. Fortunately, Chloe Wells and her friend Denise Young were found hiding in the basement, unharmed during the incident. But larger questions remain. What is to become? Chloe Wells felt her life had no meaning. She had no sense of purpose. But all that's changed. She knows that she's helped me gain insight into this journey. I can't. You have a gift. It's gone, Cade. He's gone. How do you know? I just do. I feel it. His purpose was to reach you, and maybe he's done that. Yeah, he has. They're gonna come after me. They think that I know things. No, they won't. I'll get a message to someone in the camp. Let them know you're no longer a threat. But you still have to be careful. I'm not gonna forget you. Kate Foster. It's too bad you're leaving, cause uh buck a beer night on uh, Fridays at McKinley's. We'll have to take a rain check. You know how to reach me. of great frustration, I received a message from a man who lived and died 500 years ago. His message is to take the journey one step at a time, each day gaining the experience, wisdom and skills necessary to wage this war. I must have the patience to be mindful of the journey, rather than just the end result. If I learn these lessons well, there will come a final battle, and God willing, I'll be ready for that day.